What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Justin Norm. I am going to do something phenomenal. Today, we are exploring two different dolls that I have recently really started getting into traction waveform free and acoustica mix craft this is a comparison now the cool thing about both of these is they might be your option if you decide that you don't want to stick with cakewalk anymore now i'm going to give you a heads up one of these dolls is completely free and the other one does cost but it's not a bad price and i'm going to show you exactly what the differences are between these two let's get into it okay so let's talk about traction waveform first so you'll notice that traction waveform has a bunch of different tiers now it has the free version which i'll show you waveform free it's a free download and you can see the comparison between the two if you want to compare them uh traction waveform free waveform oem or the waveform pro now the pro is starting off at 99 dollars, and i believe this is if you already have it installed the waveform free that is installed or the oem installed that you can upgrade for 99 dollars, which isn't a bad deal to pay one time for a doll that comes with all of these good features so the free version you know is limited but it does come with a bunch of stuff that you can really use to get going so this would be a great i think starter doll or even a professional doll for that matter it is some things that are on here that are not on cakewalk but i'll talk about that a little later so the Mixcraft, that's comparing the two. It has two different versions, the Mixcraft Recording Studio and the Mixcraft Pro Studio. Now this one does not have a free version. So who do you think wins this race for price? Yeah, it's probably gonna be Waveform because Waveform is free and you can use it completely. Now there is a free trial of the Mixcraft 10.5 Recording Studio, which I was able to download and use. And I have one day left for that demo. So that's cool. You can demo to see what it's like. Now, price wise for me is $79. Now it's normally $99. So the recording studio is basically the same price as the pro studio of the waveform. Which one has the most to offer? Well, stay tuned because we're going to talk more about the differences between the two dolls and I'll actually show you exactly what's going on with them. All right. So we know this is $79. If you already have it installed, then you can upgrade to 79 or you might have to pay 99 depends on which way it works. But for me, it said $79. Let's talk about the interface. Now, first off, Traction Waveform, the interface is sleek. I mean, it looks gorgeous. It's colorful. I mean, you do have different templates that you can use, and it's more so of a single screen layout, which means that everything is right in one place. If you're a person that likes that, that streamlined workflow, then this might be for you. Mixcraft's interface is a little bit more traditional and with a familiar layout that many users will recognize from other dolls. It's easy to navigate, especially for those who are transitioning from other software. You can notice that it is sleek, it is colorful, uh, it is very, I think it's user friendly for the way that it's set up. And I do love the way the mixer console looks. It has these tabs down here to kind of go from section to section, kind of like if you would have your browser. And I love that it has a store right here where you can go down and you can purchase some things. Um, if, or if some things might even be free that you already have access to. So I think that's really cool. Okay, so now we've talked about the way the doll looks, but let's talk about the simple things that make it easy to use because that's what you're going to be worrying about. How can I use it? Now, I will tell you one thing that I will say about uh, the process of using Waveform. It works totally a little different than most dolls. And the reason why I say that is because normally you're used to seeing, you know, your track and you can create your track. But here, when you create tracks, it doesn't really give you an option of what type of track you want to create. It does have the several tracks or photo track, but normally you're used to seeing add an audio track, add a MIDI track, add an instrument track, and this one is just add track. So you're gonna notice on this side that all your tracks are laid out where you can actually put the plugins right here. Now, usually like on Cakewalk, I'm used to the track plugins being like right here, but I don't see anything about adding a plugin. So this is how you add a plugin you have to go over here where it says the plus sign and you can click on this and then you can do a search. I do love that it's easy to do the search right here. Like if I was looking for 
waveform and I was looking for an instrument from waveform, then I can do that. How about creating tracks in Acoustica Mixcraft? Well, normally in Cakewalk, you can say Control T. You can almost say T in waveform. And this one, when you press T, it does nothing. So <laughs> there might be a shortcut to doing it, but you can right click now and everything is on this side, which is what I'm used to dealing with like Cakewalk. And you can see now that I have an option to do add track, audio, instrument, video, send, submix, output, vocoder. I'm gonna tell you that I really like the way that it's organized graphic wise because it shows me exactly what I'm looking at. Before on the other one, it just says insert track, you know, or insert subfolder track. But it, this, I can actually see the graphics of what I'm doing. Like this vocoder looks like a mouth that's open. So that kind of helps me choose exactly what I want. I do love that for is adding audio effects, I can click right here and I can do a search. Once again, I can type in whatever I'm looking for. Like if I was looking for auto tune, you know, it pops up right there or anything else. Or I could just type in a, and then I can add it right here. So everything is kind of on this side. Whereas on traction waveform, you notice that everything was kind of to the right side as far as adding those effects and adding those instruments. So say you have a MIDI clip and you're trying to figure out exactly how to quantize it. Uh, normally in Cakewalk, I would be used to clicking on it and pressing Q. Okay, well that does not work in here. Uh, if you press Q, it actually brings up the U Smart Snap. And if you right click on it, the clip, you still don't see quantize. So I might, it's, it's a little harder to find. Now if you're uh, browser bar or your control bar, I'm gonna call it your control bar, I'm sorry. If your control bar is um, lowered or if it's collapsed like this, then you still might not see the option for it. But if you expand it, then you will see the quantize. And notice it's spelled quantize. Uh, normally it should be spelled with a Z. In this case, it's spelled with an S. It gives you indication automatically that something is gonna be a little different about this quantize. Because on here, it works as separating the beat. So uh, the, what do you call it? The division of the beat or the subdivision of the beat. So when it says, like if I wanted this to be like 16th notes, well 16th note is a fourth of a beat. So I would have to quantize it in a fourth of a beat. But on other dolls, you're used to seeing that say one fourth of a beat kind of looks like I'm doing it to quarter notes. It's just a way that it's written because normally when I see one fourth, I'm thinking quarter and it is a quarter of a beat, but I'm thinking just quarter note when I see quarter. So just pay attention to that because I got confused with that a long time ago. I would do one sixteenth of a beat uh, and that would be really crazy because one fourth of a beat is a 16th note, one eighth is a 32nd, and one 16th is a 64th note. So, but it does go very, very minute. So you can go all the way down. So quantizing in Mixcraft works like this. If I want to quantize something, I just right click on it and go to quantize. And notice that it's spelled now with a Z. Or there's a humanized mode down here. So I can quantize and it says 16th notes, woohoo, eighth notes, woohoo, fourth notes. So instead of saying one fourth of a beat, it says one fourth notes or fourth notes or quarter notes, rather, is what it is. So in this case, if I want to do eighth notes, I would quantize it eighth notes. And then I can do the strength. So this is very similar to the way Cakewalk is, and probably other dolls for that matter. Let's talk about samplers because you might be a person that says, hey, I really do want to do some sampling. Um, I don't always do it all the time, but it's always good to know. So in Acoustica, there is a sampler and it was funny. I was on a live stream last night trying to figure out exactly where it is. But if you create a new track, click on it and go to the category VSTI instruments, then you will see the alpha sampler. Now, I believe this has two samplers and it has the alpha and what is the other one that I'm looking for? It's called the, uh, let's go down to the bottom, the Omni Sampler. So both of those come in. Now, this one is the Alpha, and I think it's gonna be just your basic generic sampler. So if I was trying to add a sound to here, sounds cool. 
I should be able to drop that right in here. It loads. Okay, so and once you have the alpha sampler up and you added your sample, uh, it says load. I mean, it's already loaded. I know I can adjust the volume envelope. I can adjust a pitch on it. I can adjust a filter. I can adjust a mind wheel. And uh, this is just like simple sampling. So it really doesn't allow me to do, I can add audio controller. Add, oh, that's nice, okay. I can add a MIDI controller. That's cool. Or I can add an LFO, All right? I can exit out of those. Okay, so this one allows you to add the sample directly to a pad. Okay, all right. Yeah, I don't see the option to like really edit this sound. I mean, I know I can do this stuff right here. Envelope output, etc. Right, let's go to traction waveform. Let's go to instruments and let's go to the micro sampler. All right, here's a micro sampler. And then you should be able to drop your waves right here. So it's a little easier just to get to. I've got some samples here that I can add in like this one. Food song. I just got a chicken wing on my okay, so we already know that it works. And I should be able to adjust attack, decay, release, all that good stuff. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, but now the only thing I don't really see how to do on here, once again, is how to snip it, uh, how to splice it up. But this is just a, a typical sample, uh, a typical sampler that's basic. Uh, I think the pro version of Waveform has more of a better sampler. Once again, these are all things that I'm still kind of exploring. So as you can see, this is, you know, it's amazing what both of them can do. There are some limitations. Like I said, if you get the better versions and I won't say the better, but the versions that cost, they will give you more features. So, but ask yourself, is this cool for you? Like, do you see yourself being able to use this? Yes, they have full capabilities for being able to edit. They each have unlimited tracks, audio and MIDI. Um, they both have samplers of some type of sort and they both allow most of the features that you normally use in a doll like comping and things like that like i said neither one of them has the arranger tool until you get the paid version so eventually i'm going to upgrade acoustica i might have to upgrade a little quicker because i only got one day left to use it and i love to make videos still about it on this channel oh don't forget that i am not going to give up on cakewalk i love cakewalk i'm just kind of really been busy you know with my school and first day of school is monday and i still have a lot of stuff to do for that so i am really going to be gone for a while and you probably won't see me making as many videos i'm trying my best to comment as much as i can to respond to comments but if you have any questions about anything please feel free to send it to me i um, mean i get to it directly but i just wanted to make some type of video and really kind of compare these two i don't know if this is helpful or not but if it was helpful let me know in the comments hey this was kind of helpful i see the value in both of these dolls and maybe you consider using one of them all right i am not affiliated with any of the dolls i am not getting compensation for using them it's just something that i discovered that i'm kind of just playing around with um and i'm hoping that i can create and finish i already got two songs i'm working on one and this doll and one in i already have two songs and i'm working on one in each doll and hopefully i can finish them and i'm going to try to release them sometime this year um so yeah other than that you all you know what to do subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you're notified every time i post new content whenever that may be all right i love you all peace